Welcome to our Sports Briefing Show, where we dive into the electrifying world of sports, from the boxing ring to the football field, and the octagon. First up, we're setting the stage for a historic battle this Cinco de Mayo weekend, where Saul Canelo Alvarez defends his super middleweight championship against the undefeated Jamie Mungia. It's a fight that promises to keep us on the edge of our seats, as Mungia steps up to challenge one of boxing's greats. Switching gears to the NFL, former San Francisco 49ers wide receiver Willie Sneed 4 is stirring the pot with some cryptic social media posts. It seems like he's throwing some shade at his former team, hinting at entitlement issues and a lack of competition for roster spots. It's a juicy bit of drama that adds an intriguing layer to the off-season narratives. And in the UFC, Mauricio Ruffy made a statement in his promotional debut at UFC 301 by securing a violent TKO victory over Jamie Malarkey. Ruffy's performance was nothing short of spectacular, marking him as a fighter to watch in future bouts. With these stories and more, we're all set for an action-packed episode. So, stay tuned for the detailed coverage. Please continue to watch for more details. In the electrifying world of sports, where every punch, play, and post can stir a whirlwind of reactions, this weekend's showdown and social media shade have fans on the edge of their seats. Let's dive into the heart-pounding, jaw-dropping, and eyebrow-raising moments that have the sports universe buzzing. First up, in the realm of boxing, we have a clash that's set to light up Cinco de Mayo weekend with the fervor of a thousand fireworks. Yahoo US brings us to the front row of the much-anticipated bout between Saul, Canelo Alvarez and Jamie Mungia, a fight that's not just about titles but national pride. For the first time in seven years, Canelo, the undisputed super middleweight champion, squares off against a fellow Mexican warrior. Mungia steps into the ring undefeated in 44 professional fights, yet he's never faced a titan like Alvarez. The stakes? Sky high. If Alvarez can fend off Mungia's challenge, he cements his legacy further. But should Mungia emerge victorious, he'll not only snatch the crown but also etch his name in the annals of boxing history as the man who dethroned a legend. Switching gears to the gridiron, Yahoo US also sheds light on a cryptic saga unfolding off the field. Willie Sneed 4, a wide receiver whose tenure with the San Francisco 49ers has been marked by limited action, took to social media to cast a shadow of critique over his former team. Sneed's posts hinted at a desire for a more competitive environment, contrasting with what he perceived as a culture of entitlement during his stay with the 49ers. Despite his grievances, Sneed's love for the game shines through, even as he navigates the uncertain waters of free agency. His parting shot at the 49ers, wrapped in a veil of cryptic messages, leaves fans wondering about the true dynamics within the team and Sneed's future in the NFL. Lastly, the UFC octagon in Rio de Janeiro was the stage for a display of sheer brutality, as reported by Yahoo US. Mauricio Ruffy made a statement in his promotional debut at UFC 301, demolishing Jamie Malarkey with a barrage of strikes that led to a violent first-round TKO. Ruffy's explosive performance not only shattered Malarkey's nose but also sent a clear message to the lightweight division. With this victory, Ruffy extends his winning streak to five, signaling his arrival as a force to be reckoned with. Meanwhile, Malarkey faces the tough task of bouncing back from a defeat that adds to a recent string of knockouts and TKOs. From the boxing ring to the football field, and inside the octagon, this weekend has been nothing short of sensational. Canelo's quest to maintain his reign, Sneed's cryptic critique of the 49ers, and Ruffy's explosive UFC debut have provided fans with a roller coaster of emotions. As punches fly, words sting, and fighters rise, the world of sports continues to captivate and inspire. Whether it's the thrill of victory or the agony of defeat, the stories of these athletes remind us of the relentless spirit that defines the heart of competition. In the bustling world of politics and sports, individuals and teams alike face the daunting task of overcoming adversity, whether it's on the field, the track, or in the government offices. Let's dive into a series of captivating narratives from the Telegraph and the sports world that highlight both the struggles and triumphs of those in the spotlight. Starting with the political arena, a letter to the Telegraph from a concerned voter in the Blackpool South by-election paints a grim picture of the current state of the Conservative Party in the UK. The voter argues passionately that the party, likened to a dishonest, incompetent, and lazy employee, needs a significant overhaul. They assert that the Conservatives must be ousted from office to reflect on their failures and return with a genuine Conservative offering. This analogy strikes a chord, suggesting that just as a business wouldn't tolerate an underperforming employee, the electorate shouldn't settle for less than what they deserve from their government. Adding to the discourse, another long-standing Conservative Party member and leader expresses disillusionment with the party's trajectory. They lament the actions of Boris Johnson as Prime Minister and critique Liz Truss's initial steps in office as disastrous. 
This letter underscores a call for real, conservatives to steer the party back on course, highlighting a deep-seated belief that the current leadership is veering away from the party's core principles. Compounding the party's image problem, another letter points out an incident where Prime Minister Boris Johnson showed up at a polling station without proper ID. This act, perceived as arrogance and entitlement, further fuels the narrative that the Conservative Party is disconnected from the realities of everyday citizens. Such incidents contribute to the erosion of public support and trust in the party, emphasizing the need for a dramatic shift in attitude and approach. Shifting gears to the world of sports, where resilience and determination are just as crucial, we find inspiring stories of individuals overcoming obstacles. Christian Scott, a 24-year-old pitcher for the New York Mets, made headlines with his first major league strikeout against Randy Arrows Arena, utilizing a powerful 96-miles-per-hour fastball. Despite a rocky start, allowing a run in the first inning, Scott's debut was marked by his aggressive pitching and diverse arsenal, including a fastball, slider, splitter, and sweeper. His performance not only showcased his potential but also symbolized the perseverance required to succeed at the highest levels of sport. In the high-octane world of NASCAR, Christopher Bell exemplifies the spirit of comeback. After a series of crashes and misfortunes, Bell secured the pole position for the NASCAR Cup Series race at the Kansas Speedway with an impressive lap of 183.107 mph. His achievement for Joe Gibbs Racing marked a significant turnaround, demonstrating that setbacks can be stepping stones to greater success. These narratives, from the political turmoil within the Conservative Party to the personal victories of athletes like Christian Scott and Christopher Bell, illustrate the universal themes of resilience, accountability, and the relentless pursuit of excellence. Whether it's navigating the choppy waters of political leadership or pushing the limits on the racetrack and baseball diamond, the stories of these individuals and entities remind us of the power of reflection, determination, and the courage to face challenges head-on. In the fast-paced and often unpredictable world of sports, the resilience and determination of athletes and coaches alike shine through, even in the face of injuries and setbacks. This was evident in the recent developments involving key figures in baseball and basketball where their challenges and triumphs captured the attention of fans and media. Starting with the Philadelphia Phillies, the team faced a significant hurdle as shortstop Tree Turner was placed on the 10-day injured list after sustaining a hamstring injury. According to Yahoo US, Turner is expected to miss at least six weeks of action, a considerable blow to the Phillies, especially given Turner's impressive performance this season, hitting .343. The Phillies, having won 14 of their last 18 games, now face the challenge of maintaining their momentum in the National League East without one of their star players. The situation underscores the unpredictable nature of sports, where injuries can abruptly alter the course of a season. For the Phillies and their fans, anything before six weeks would be a win, highlighting the hope for a swift and successful recovery for Turner. Meanwhile, in the world of Major League Baseball, the Toronto Blue Jays managed to snap a three-game losing streak with a victory over the Washington Nationals, as reported by the Toronto Star. The game, which ended with a 6-3 scoreline, featured standout performances from pitcher Kevin Gaussman and outfielder Kevin Kiermaier. Gaussman tossed 5-1-3 scoreless innings, striking out eight and allowing just three hits, while Kiermaier, fresh off the injured list, hit a crucial two-run homer in the eighth inning. This victory was a testament to the team's resilience and the impact of returning players from injuries. The Nationals, on the other hand, missed an opportunity to achieve a winning record, despite a spirited attempt to rally in the seventh inning. This game highlighted the thin margins between victory and defeat and the importance of seizing opportunities when they arise. In the NBA, the Minnesota Timberwolves demonstrated a different kind of resilience, with head coach Chris Finch returning to the bench for the team's second-round series opener against the Denver Nuggets just days after undergoing knee surgery. According to Yahoo US, despite Finch's physical limitations, his determination to support his team was clear. Assistant coach Micah Norrie took on a more active role during the game, handling huddles and communicating with players, while Finch provided guidance from the sidelines. This arrangement underscored the teamwork and adaptability required not just from the players on the court, but also from the coaching staff. The Timberwolves' approach to this challenge highlighted the importance of leadership and the willingness to find creative solutions in the face of adversity. These stories from the world of sports illustrate the relentless spirit of athletes and coaches as they navigate the highs and lows of their respective seasons. Whether it's dealing with injuries, breaking losing streaks, or adapting to unexpected circumstances, the determination to overcome obstacles and strive for success remains a constant theme. As fans and observers, these narratives provide not just entertainment, but also lessons in resilience, teamwork, and the enduring human spirit.
In the world of sports, where the unexpected often becomes the highlight, the 150th Kentucky Derby delivered an electrifying moment that will be etched in history. Yahoo US reported on the stunning victory of Mystic Dan, a horse that galloped into the annals of racing lore with a performance that left spectators on the edge of their seats. Ridden by jockey Brian Hernandez Jr. and trained by Kenny McPeak, Mystic Dan defied the odds, which were stacked against him at 18 to 1, to clinch the win in a nail-biting photo finish. The race was so closely contested that it was the first time in 28 races the Kentucky Derby witnessed such a heart-stopping conclusion. Mystic Dan managed to edge out Sierra Leone and Forever Young by just a nose, leaving fans and betters alike in awe. This victory was not just significant for the horse and his team but also for McPeak, who achieved a rare double win by also taking home the Kentucky Oaks on the same weekend, a feat not accomplished since 1952. Meanwhile, in the realm of the NFL, the Chicago Bears find themselves at a crossroads with the possibility of becoming the focus of the popular Hard Knocks program next season. Yahoo US shared insights from Ryan Poles, the Bears' VP of Player Personnel, who expressed his reservations about the team being thrust into the reality TV spotlight. Despite his personal reluctance, Poles acknowledged the appeal of the program, which offers fans a behind-the-scenes look at the inner workings of an NFL team during the preseason. The Bears, along with the New Orleans Saints and Denver Broncos, meet the criteria that could see them being compelled to participate by the NFL. This scenario presents a unique challenge for the team, balancing the demands of preparation for the upcoming season with the added pressure and scrutiny that comes with being featured on hard knocks. On the baseball diamond, the Philadelphia Phillies are facing a dilemma of their own, albeit of a more enviable nature. Yahoo US reported on Phillies manager Rob Thompson's strategic maneuvering to address an overabundance of starting pitchers. With six viable starters and only five spots available in the rotation, Thompson likened his decision-making process to solving a mental Rubik's Cube. Before a Saturday game, he unveiled his latest pitching plans, which involve Christopher Sanchez and Spencer Turnbull. This situation, while challenging, is certainly a better problem to have than not enough talent. Thompson's approach underscores the delicate balance that managers must strike in maximizing their team's potential while ensuring each player's contributions are effectively utilized. Each of these stories, from the thrilling finish at the Kentucky Derby to the strategic considerations of NFL and MLB teams, highlights the diverse challenges and triumphs that define the world of sports. Whether it's the glory of a long-shot victory, the complexities of team management in the face of public scrutiny, or the tactical decisions that shape a season, these narratives remind us of the passion, strategy, and sheer unpredictability that keep fans captivated year after year. In the world of sports, where every game can turn into a nail-biting thriller, the Boston team found themselves in a do-or-die situation, needing a victory in regulation to secure their spot in the Professional Women's Hockey League, PWHL, postseason. According to the Associated Press, their dreams were kept alive and kicking thanks to a 4-3 triumph over Montreal, a victory that was nothing short of a miracle on ice. This win was the culmination of a remarkable run, where Boston amassed 13 of a possible 15 points in their final five matches, showcasing their determination and resilience. With Toronto and Montreal already having clinched the number one and number two seeds respectively, the tension was palpable as Ottawa eyed the final playoff spot, setting the stage for an epic showdown with Toronto. Switching gears from the ice to the octagon, Yahoo US brought us the electrifying account of Alessandro Costa's victory over Kevin Borjas at UFC 301, held in the vibrant city of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Costa, who was coming off a previous loss, was determined to make a statement and did so with a series of devastating leg kicks that chopped down Borjas, leading to a TKO stoppage in the second round. This win wasn't just a rebound for Costa, it was a testament to his skill, strategy, and heart inside the UFC octagon. Meanwhile, Borjas faced the disappointment of his second UFC loss, but in the world of mixed martial arts, every defeat is a lesson, and every lesson is a step towards victory. From the thrilling world of professional hockey and mixed martial arts, we move to the hardwood, where the Toronto Star reported on the resilience of Chris Finch, the head coach of the Minnesota Timberwolves. Despite undergoing major knee surgery earlier in the week, Finch's dedication to his team was unwavering, as he took his place on the bench for the series opener against the Denver Nuggets. It's a scene that speaks volumes about the spirit of sportsmanship and leadership. Assistant coach Micah Nori took on the role of calling the plays and instructing the players, but Finch's presence was a powerful symbol of perseverance and commitment. This scenario added an extra layer of intrigue to the series, considering the connections between the coaching staff and players of both teams, making it more than just a game, it was a battle of wits, strategy, and heart. In these stories, we witness the essence of sports, a blend of passion, determination, 
and the relentless pursuit of excellence. Whether it's on the ice, inside the octagon, or on the basketball court, the spirit of competition and the drive to overcome obstacles resonate deeply. These athletes and coaches remind us that in the face of challenges, it's not just about the triumphs but also the journey, the setbacks, and the comebacks that define the true spirit of a champion. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6 Do team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6 Do Brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision-making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6 Do team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6 Do Brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6 Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6 Do Brief via email.